Jumping to conclusions. Yeah. We have lots to discuss here. Lots of fun on our Friday Spectacular. Well, I mean, this is not the fun part, but for the last couple days, right, people were all talking about Kate Middleton. Is she missing? What's going on? Is that the real her? What's going on? And everyone was really, honestly, making jokes and rude, and that was the whole layers and sentiment of what was going on with Kate Middleton. It was a lot of over-speculation. It's like, how about everybody mind their business? But again, people are way intrigued, always have been, about the royal family. For Rich, that's the Kardashians. For everybody else, <laughs> it's, you know, it's the royal family in England. And, of course, Kate Middleton, the story was that she posted a photo of her family and that it was all Photoshopped and everybody's breaking it down. Why is it photoshopped? Where has she been? Pierce Morgan was saying that maybe there was a body double because she looked too healthy. There was a lot of speculation on the body double when there was a personal appearance. And then as of today, actually, it interrupted all the college basketball. She came out and said that she had a surgery a few months ago. Yep. And they didn't think it was cancerous. Turns out afterwards it was so then the doctors advise her to go through chemotherapy and that she's slowly recovering. So she did make a public statement that she has cancer, which sucks so bad. And it does make people feel a little like, ah, oh, maybe we should have left them alone because they do deserve their privacy. Their young family, as she put it, like, let them be, let her recover. And I think most people can sympathize with cancer as so many people have been affected. But yeah. A terrible, terrible story. But you can't blame people for having fun and wondering and speculating it's just but, but rest, then when, retrospective when the like, outcome oh, yeah, yeah when yeah, the yeah. outcome is bad right you always feel like a big jerk like oh no and that's why we got to talk about the times you jumped to conclusions and you felt like a jerk like everyone making kate middleton photoshop jokes and everything and like oh is that a body double is that her what's the story and you find out oh she has cancer well, oh, now I feel like an ass. I mean, I also think that's why she came out and made a public statement because of all the speculation. It's like, all right, let's just put this to rest. Obviously, she's trying to protect her kids, too, and let them feel comfortable that their mom's going to be okay. So the point here is you don't jump to conclusions. You don't look for that quick punch line. I mean, I even posted a photo. I'm not proud of it, but it's all in hindsight. I posted a photo of Beetlejuice with... Her and her kids. You know, Beetlejuice from the Howard Stern Show. Yeah. Who, me? Just hanging around. And it said... Who, me? <laughs> it said, not Photoshopped. Because it was kind of funny. Yeah. Because that was a big story, but that was the only part of the story at the time. So if you can think of those times in your life where you jumped to conclusions or made a joke and then realized, oh, that joke doesn't work anymore. Well, I mean... It could even be in sports. Doesn't have to be eight seven seven ninety nine on Fox at Covino and Rich. Like I remember, we all do this. We make some sort of speculation. It's just human nature. It doesn't make you a bad guy. You just don't know. I remember watching a Tiafimo fight against Cambosis, and I'm thinking to myself, "Man, this dude's done. He why is he sucking so bad?" Man, I don't know. Even Tia Fimo at the end of the fight was like, yo, is that it? Am I done? Have I lost my steam? I don't know. Do I still got it? As a fan, you were watching that fight like, man, I think he lost a step or something's wrong or what happened to this dude? So a lot of people, including myself at that moment, prisoner of the moment, counted him out. Turns out he had like liquid in his lungs. Like he had a... Uh, something going on internally that nobody was aware of, and he could have actually died I, in the I mean, ring, and that is what hindered his performance. So, yeah, I mean, sometimes it's fair to not necessarily jump to conclusion, but make an assumption, and that's what we all did. It turns out, again, he was, like, very sick at the time. Well, a lot of times fans are really crappy to a player. Yeah. And then they realize, oh, wow, he was playing through a major injury. Dude, how much flack? Is this slack or flack? Flack? Uh, slack, flack. Did we give, back in the day, guys like Flack, thank you, Iowa Sam, Chuck Knobloch as a Yankees fan. Look, as a Twins fan, like our boss, everybody remembers the all-star Chuck Knobloch. Man, this dude, he's the all-star. He's the future of second base. This guy's the guy. He goes to the Yankees. He forgets how to throw. And everyone's like, man, he stinks. Yo, you suck. Yo, what happened to Chuck Knobloch? What happened to the Chuck Knobloch I met at the beach? And then you come to find out, 
He's not publicizing it, but he was going through like a sticky divorce, if I'm not mistaken, at the time. And then so, major you know, anxiety and major depression. Major anxiety, and, yeah. pressure, stress. Like, you don't know. You know, you see a friend maybe. You're like, yo, man, did you see Carl? Looks like he put on a few pounds, huh? And you're laughing at his expense. Hey, for all you know, Carl's sick. For all you know, yeah. Carl has a thyroid issue. For all you know, Carl is stressed out. Stress makes you gain weight. I have two stories of when jumping to conclusions went wrong. Yeah, so again, we're basing this on the Kate Middleton story, which interrupted some college basketball, and you're seeing it all over the place. She admitted, or announced, I should say, that she has cancer, but admitted that she's she's doing okay and doing well, and she asked for her privacy. Yeah, and, and wishing her well, but yeah, all, all the people that made Photoshop jokes and Kate Middleton jokes, a lot of times you're like, ooh, now I said regret making that that funny meme or joke yeah because can't yeah it's very serious as it turns out so monsey you want to hear a good one i was sam listen to this doozy it was years ago Cavino and i were out at a bar out here in los angeles it's a famous bar where people ride a bull the mechanical bull have you heard of saddle ranch so we're at saddle ranch i was sam you've never heard of saddle ranch i have not i just haven't at least he's honest about I it. I know I've ridden a mechanical bull before. You have? Yeah. Sure. Oh, wow. With your shirt on or off? <laughs> it was on. Okay. Was it a sexy ride or? It was very slow and yeah. I got thrown very quickly. Because you know how women get all sexy about it sometimes. Right, right. They, they flow. I've like never done grass. it. Yeah, I've, not, I've, I've never done it. Kavino's the guy that would never run no, the bull. No, no, I won't do it. So we're at this bar saddle ranch having a couple drinks and people are riding the bull and the whole, the whole thing, as you know, is you make fun of the person on the bull. If it's some muscly dude, you're like, oh, I hope he gets his ass thrown off that and tumbles. If it's some hot girl, you're like, ooh, take a look. We see someone on the bull, and the bull's going really slow. And we're like, come on, let's speed it up. The bull just stays going slow. And we're watching this person on the bull, like, smiling ear to ear, having the time of their life. And everyone's cheering, and we're like, this sucks. <laughs> come Boo! on with this. Next person already. Come on, wrap it up. Sucks. Let's go. And we're like, that sucked. And then as we're saying, that sucked, we see this guy smiling, and people take him off the ball and put him back in his wheelchair. And let's just say the mixed company we were with. And we were like, all right, we're the worst people on earth. Nice yeah. knowing you. And, and, and again, in I'm going to say in Rich's defense. What, me? In your defense. You didn't know. You Jump. didn't know. I just remember watching the guy Two. thinking to myself, Conclusions. I don't remember why. I don't remember booing. I remember thinking, though, what's all the hoopla about this guy? <laughs> it's going very slow right now. I'm not impressed. I do remember thinking that. I remember we were at a meeting once, and we saw someone. This is jumping to conclusions. There was some woman we worked with. You know they sell mats for that? And, and then, Oh, the jump to conclusions mat? Yeah. Oh, I remember that from Office Space. It was a jump to conclusions mat. You see, it would be this mat that you would put on the floor and would have different conclusions written on it that you could jump to. I got one from Home Goods. Yeah, yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah, it's great. But we saw this woman we worked with, and she was talking about how she wasn't feeling well. She was a little uh, under the weather and sick. And one of her other coworkers goes, well, that's because she's pregnant. And she goes, I'm not pregnant. I'm just fat, all right? By the way, that is like the number one Yo. don't oh, yeah. assume or jump to the conclusion that someone's pregnant. I Look what you did, you yeah. little jerk. We, we never say insane. to a woman, when are you due? Yeah. If you don't know them. Yeah, no. if you don't know them personally, do not say those words. Yo, Danny, it was not us that said it, so I felt fine, but we backed into the bushes like that Homer Simpson meme. Like we were just like <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? Oh, people do it all the time, time with other things. You know how many people come up to me and they just start speaking Spanish and I have to look at them like Nacho Libre? Like, uh, I, sp I lived a life of no hablo, and they don't know, but they assume, right? Yeah. They're jumping to the conclusion that, oh, he must be fluent in something else. No, I am not. You know, I wish I was. I understand Spanish, but I'm not confident when speaking it, so you're going to get a Spanglish response. So jumping to conclusions, it doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't. But a lot of us did jump to conclusions as to why Kate Middleton was sort of hiding out. 
something wasn't right. And I think, not me, Rich, because you and I don't care much for the royal family. I'm not into that. Yeah. But I feel bad. When they're so public and they're such big figures, I guess people felt, I guess, that they were entitled to some information, the right to know, because they're so invested in such important people. Yeah, we always think we have the right to know. Everyone thinks everyone's a busy buddy and thinks that they have the right to know. But that's everything. why it became such a big story. Well, what's going on? Right? So she now she has cancer. Uh jumping to conclusions. Don't do it. Let's go to your phone calls. Let's chop it up. Let's get this weekend going. Covino and Rich, eight seven seven ninety nine on Fox at Covino and Rich. Who do we got? Uh that's Kenny in Virginia. What's up, Kenny? Ken Kniff, what's up? Hey, fellas. Hey, uh, I work in a construction industry, pretty much T-shirt, jeans. And one of our customers, long customers, comes in, and he's got a coat and tie on. And I said, hey, man, what are you doing, the parole meeting today? And he's like, no, they just found my wife dead in a state park. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, that's that's the week. I, I don't know if anything you said to him in that moment would have been the right thing to say, right? Yeah, that's, oh, that's horrible. Uh, Dave in Sacramento. What's up, Dave? Cavino and Rich, how you doing? We're good, man. What's up? Hey, hey, Danny G. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, um, I was, uh, uh, my son is on a soccer team. You know how they work their way up? They're like five. They play on the same team. Yeah. Kind of like Little League Baseball. They're six. They're seven. They all got, they still are on the same team with the same kids. Well, there's a couple of twins. I'm a white guy. And there's a couple of twins, uh, on our team. And they're, uh, Korean. And uh, I'm the type of guy like Rich. I'm outgoing. I'm the guy that, that cracks a joke. You know, a kid gets hit in the, in the luggage, and I'm saying, oh, well, I guess uh, he's going to be playing for the girls' team next year and, you know, trying to just make, make light of the whole experience and have fun. Well, for about a year, uh, I was always making comments about how I couldn't tell the two twins apart. I could only tell them apart by their number. Then they changed numbers, and I was like, oh, you changed numbers? I just, I just started learning which one was which based on their number. Oh, the twins. I don't know which twin is which. And then about a year in, the dad says to me, you know, they're not identical twins. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) Oh, man. That hurts. That's so dumb. David hurts. But, uh, you know, jumping to conclusions, you know, these sort of all lead to sticking your foot in your mouth. That's also what it is, too. Um and we're taking your phone calls now and your feedback, 877-99 on Fox. Yeah, it's just, it's just a reminder. We all, we all do it at times, but uh, I think with the sad announcement of Kate Middleton, you know, interrupting March Madness to announce that, you know, she was diagnosed with cancer, everyone that was making Kate Middleton jokes over the last week or so might feel like, ooh. Well, I think it's a reminder ooh. of you never know what people are going through. You never know what's going on. You never know. Uh, someone's backstory, and it could be like something innocent too. Like I'll share one; it's not anything wrong or bad. But when people meet me, not only do they do they make an assumption of what my ethnicity is, I could see that. I could see that they're wondering, right? And then they'll ask me, "Well, what are you?" Right? But a lot of times they also approach me with or, or from a place of they think I'm younger than I am. And meanwhile, I'm probably older than them. And I yeah. always find that odd, too. But they're jumping to that conclusion that I'm some young dude or younger dude, maybe than them. And I'm like, dude, I'm older than you. So, again, jumping to conclusions doesn't always work because you're you're rubbing people in an odd way. Not a bad way. An odd way sometimes. <laughs> you know, guys, this reminds me of the Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. Do you remember that story? He had colon cancer. Nobody knew. He wanted to keep it private because he didn't want anybody to worry about him or, or any so of that. Right. And, and all those rumors. Yeah, exactly. And people were clowning on him. And there was all this stuff online. And then he passed away and people found out what really happened. And people felt so bad. He w- And he was such a good, good guy. That's a that's a really great example because I remember that. And was like, what's up with that, dude? He got so skinny. What happened to him? Dude, a, a, lot of, a lot of times it is what happened to them. Yeah. And people are cracking jokes, like you said, and, and it's usually something like not good. Right, right. So just keep that in mind. Keep it That's in all. mind. And um, again, when you look at the news today, aside from college basketball, it really That's is it, all yeah. Kate Middleton and Shohei Otani, which, by the way, once that gets in your algorithm, the Shohei Otani stuff, it's in. And we're jumping to conclusions on that, too. We are. Tell me we're not. Conspiracy. We're like, oh, it's a big cover-up. Come on.
All Pete Rose needed was a uh, an interpreter. We're jumping to conclusions. I think we're when we get the the full on juice, we might say, "Ah, oh, we were so wrong about that." Very well, because it's just in our nature to sort of figure out or jump ahead. 